customizing the interface. The XStation platform allows you to customize the platform according to the trader's need. Each window in the default view may be closed, maximized or minimized. Each section may be moved and changed in size. The platform interface is available in two versions, dark and white. You can change them by using the settings on the right panel. You can also choose the type of arrangement for many charts at once. Cascade, Horizontal, Vertical, Grid and Full Screen. If you have a multiple screen system, you can also detach your charts from the main screen and put them on the other screens. Here are some examples how to customize the interface of XStation. You can add your own list of favorite instruments. Click on the plus icon, provide the name of the list. Then choose the instruments you are interested in, either by adding it from the list or by entering the symbol in the search field. After you finish, click on the OK button. Note, the list of favorites has been created. You can modify the charts. To add a new chart, drag a selected instrument from the market watch list and drop it into the chart window. You can change the time period from the time period drop-down list and select one of the five chart types, for instance, line or candlestick. You can also add the basic technical indicators and oscillators by selecting them from the bar on the left. You can also add different analyst tools such as Fibonacci retracement or Elliott wave directly into the charts. There are possibilities to show only individual chart layers, compare charts with each other, add some data tips to crucial moments of your trade, or take a snapshot of your trades to share with others. You can move the macro calendar from the bar above the chart to the place where we now have portfolio. To do so, just drag and drop. If you need to switch off any of the sections, just open the right side panel and click on the icon of the section you want to make invisible. Note, the sections are now hidden. If you want to restore it, just click again on the icon. When you create the most suitable view, it can be saved. To do so, just go to the side panel, click on the settings button and then choose layout manager. Provide the name of a new layout and then click save. It's done. Now you may switch layouts, choosing them from the drop-down layout list. To restore default view, just go to the right-hand panel, click on settings and choose restore default layout.